Plasticity, in my opinion, is hands down the easiest to use and the best 3D modeling software for making hard surfaces. Welcome to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Welcome back, and if you're new here, then welcome. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the tools that frequently get overlooked when you are modeling in plasticity. Now, just quickly before we get into this list, if you're thinking about purchasing a plasticity license, you can use my code REFUGE10 to get a 10% discount off either the studio or the uh, indie license. Now, let's get into it. Let's press one to go into front mode, and this is one that frequently gets overlooked. So we'll just take a line out, and we're just going to start to make a, a very basic shape here. Um, all right, so we've got the shape, and I just want to scale this up a bit. All right, so we've got this rather large shape, and we're going to just use the revolve tool on this. And bam you've got that now we've got this shape here we can now start to edit different aspects of this okay and get it looking how we want it to right so we can get this nice curvature going on here and we could I don't know do a chamfer up there now we've got this nice sort of wine glass shape now that we've got that we can actually just thicken it okay so that's really cool so that's the revolve tool um, the next tool that I'm going to use we're just going to go press um, 4 to go into solid mode and press F R E D and delete our redundant topology okay and make sure it works okay so we've got this here okay the next tool is bridge okay so you can bridge vertexes and edges so what I'm going to do I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to uh, isoparam this okay I'm going to do four cuts okay and I'm going to do the same here so in terms of surfacing the way that you use bridge edge curve uh, is you can delete this uh, face here and with these two edges we can press shift B or press F and find bridge edge okay and you see you get this nice G2 um, uh, tangency and then you can mess with the tension um, and you can get whatever shape you like so now we've got this funny shape here we could then say uh, use our revolve command again and revolve that around there well if we do it properly okay and now we've got this nice shape here but we've got the G2 tangency coming up here so then all we need to do is uh, press J to join our pieces together JJ Okay, and then we can delete our redundant topology. Always cleaning up as we go along. Okay, so we've got all of that. Actually, I'm going to undo the delete the redundant topology because I'm going to use these faces again. So let's just come down the bottom and select this face. Let's do the same what we did before. Okay, so we've got well, it's three sides only there. So we want four sides. Okay, and the other way that we can use bridge edge curve, which is up over here, by the way, is we could select it from one face to another one. Okay, and then we get this nice detail. Press the P key, and then we can pipe this in. Hit the scale button down here. My screencast keys might be concealing that a little bit, but I'm just bringing this down. Okay, and we've got this really cool thing. So uh, we've got this cool detail here, this piping. Now, when we come in here we can see that this isn't touching this surface completely and it's not joined up or anything so what we can do here is now that we're pulling this down we've got this offset face command and as we're pulling this down if we click another face okay it's going to conform to that surface so we're getting this perfect um, conformity to the surface and we can do that to both of these and then we could right use our revolve um so a radial array and radial array that around okay and we've got these nice surfaces and now because we've used that offset face these should all join together nicely and then we can really easily um, add our chamfers or our fillets into these um, areas here Alrighty. so there we go we can add these nice chamfers on and we're getting some details 
or we could add fillets make it a little bit more organic I think that looks quite cool yeah that's starting to look really cool and like you see we're just using really basic tools here and we're starting to build up a really cool shape let's delete our redundant topology and if it will allow us to we'll get a nice full round fillet up the top there so we got that nice highlights on that so as you can see we've pretty much just used bridge um, revolve and offset face and we've already developed this up um, quite nicely and we've got quite a lot of detail but another one that uh, a lot of people don't seem to use a lot is um, importing SVGs now plasticity allows you to make lots of cool shapes with your curves right if we just go and you know sometimes it might not be easy to make the shape that you want right um, you might have to spend a lot of time of it but you might be better at doodling that on a piece of paper or in your favorite um, you know Photoshop or GIMP or whatever and then you can convert that to an SVG using um, a software that allows you to do so and then we can bring in any doodle that we um, we can think of as long as it's got enough contrast okay and then what we can do with that is we can do all sorts of things with that so we've got our SVG here okay we can actually, um, now that we've got that here, if we go into three, we can now pull this out, right? And you see we've got this highly detailed thing, which at the end of the day was just a really quick doodle I did in Photoshop. So um, nothing crazy here, just really quick doodle I did in Photoshop. I converted it at an Inkscape and now I've got this object which to make this in plasticity I don't even know if I would be able to make the shape in plasticity to be honest. Um, so now I've got this and what can we do with this? So another command that I think doesn't get used enough is unwrap and deform. So if we go to our F menu and we search for unwrap on this face, okay we can unwrap this face okay and now what we want to do is just bring this well actually let's bring this to the center of that okay and now it's kind of in on top of it so we want to bring this down so this is our reference face we also want to scale this down a little bit so that it fits inside there and we can get rid of our curves we can just hide all of those okay and we go into top mode just make sure that this is nicely centered on this Okay, and this sometimes can take a little bit of trial and error, but we want this to be like either touching or just almost touching that. And then we can press F, D, E, F for deform. Click on this face as our reference, and then use this face as the one that we wanted to uh, plonk it onto. And now you'll see that this has been deformed onto here. Okay. Um, then what we can do obviously is we can um, use our radial array we can come under here and we can array that around I think uh, four is too many we can give it three across there okay and as you can see we've really built this up into something really nice and cool so another tool that doesn't get used um, as much and I think that a lot of people do use this but I think a lot of people don't know about that and that one is raise degree so like this is like a lot of people focus on X nerves and things like that and they're like that's a super powerful uh, surfacing tool but if you can get away with just doing this right um, you don't need to use all of these complex surfacing tools you can just use the simplest modeling tools that are available okay and we've just used raised degree we can do another full round fillet on this hopefully yep there we go and we've got this extra shape going on with our cup so I'm thinking it's starting to look pretty cool and the final one that we're gonna do is I think um, copy and uh, copy with placement okay so if you go into the F menu you've got copy with um, placement and you can actually use Control shift C for this so what we'll do we'll quickly um, add some details on here we'll get a polygon out okay we we'll just pull this out like this and we'll give it a bit of shape we can actually
give that like that. We can delete our curve. All right, and then we just select our object. We go Control Shift C, okay, and then we can Control Shift V that on there, like so. And then we can use these to sort of bring it in how we want, okay. These could be like jewels or something, and then we can obviously um, select this one and radial array that across, okay. And as you can see, we've built up a lot of detail really quickly, um, and we've used really basic tools that I feel like don't get enough attention so then what you could do is obviously you could take it into blender and you can make a really cool render so i've just taken it into blender i've slapped on a few materials and bob's your uncle we've got this uh sort of thing i mean it's not the greatest render in the world but you get the picture it's not the greatest render it's not the greatest model but i was just playing around with the tools and i ended up making this uh while we were moving along so um it's pretty cool we got nice little details in here with this little hump with the um using the bridge curve um we got these using bridge curves um we used raised degree to get this we used import svg and deform and everything else is just radial array and you know just playing around with it um so don't underestimate the simple tools because that's where the power of plasticity lies. Things like x nerves are fantastic, but only for when you're like doing that final step and trying to push, you know, like the final details, like getting one of these um, things here. Maybe you wanna um, make sure that it has better highlights so we can, you know, go over here and, you know, you can, get better highlights on this so that's a great tool for like polishing but actually just for modeling um, uh, these simple tools work really really well so I'll leave it at that I hope you guys have a happy new year if you're watching this when I release it if not um, have a good year anyway and I'll see you guys all in the next one Tschüss.